today we are fine tuning the carp. Yes, welcome back. So, I say so, eh? So, eh? And so, how are we going to do this? We put the bike onto our carb tuner. Because last what, time. What car is that? <laughs> this is our new car. It's a Clio RS with a 2 liter engine. So, the last time we finished the maintenance of the bike, now we're gonna tune the engine. We're gonna tune the carbs. Uh, what we did is we connected the carb tune. It has four lines for the vacuum and we connect them to the inlets of the engine for cylinder one, two and three. Normally they kept off and now we connected our lines to it. And we made this nice contraption from the tank. Uh, we put it in reverse on there so we have connected both our fuel lines but the carbs are reachable for uh, the settings that we can tune. And also we connected our next project, it's the Clio for a little bit extra uh, battery juice. We got this whole Frankenstein uh, contraption now. <laughs> um, so let us show you what we, what we got right now. We can start the bike. We adjusted the idler screw for all the three cylinders until we got to the stage where they were pretty much all in sync. So a little context for the next clips. We had to wait a while for some parts to arrive and in the meantime it got really cold in the Netherlands. We have our little heater over here. <laughs> With uh, two degrees. Good. Oh. Got a package. We got some parts from the UK. It is our new chain. We tried to remove the, the noise in the engine with sinking the carb. That didn't work. So we took off the chain and we noticed that the chain was too loose. So we ordered a new one, a used one. And now the exciting part is to see if it's even better or worse. In this shot you can see the chain wobble. Let's see if we can get it out. In order to get it out we need to take off the rotor. To stop it from moving we apply the rear brake. Loose. Nice. The voltage loose. Beep. Well, a hammer was not gonna cut it. Let's get creative. It's literally, li literally freezing in here. So there's a special tool to um, take off this pulley rotor. Yeah, pulley from the from the alternator. We need to take it off to get to the chain. Uh, but we don't have the special tool and we have a puller but it keeps sliding off. So now we tie it down with this uh, strap. See if we can get it off now. It looks promising. Welcome back to our Yamaha XS850 build. Last time we uh, stopped working on this bike, we couldn't get the rotor of the alternator off. We didn't have the special tool, now we do. You might have seen us struggle last time, but this time we have the special tool. And we just put some pressure on it and it just came right off. So the reason we wanted to take the rotor off is because we want to take the side of the engine off. Because in here is the chain that connects the drive shaft to the gearbox. So let's take the side cover off. 
Let's see what we can find in here. Yes. Okay. Oh, we already can see some yeah, some wear from the chain. Oh, also on this side, you can see some wear from the chain. As you can see, the chain is very loose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really loose. <laughs> we were expecting the chain to be loose, but this loose. Oh, over here also. Yeah, we can see some wear of the chain in here and also underneath. So this, this bracket is damaged, but this bracket is still pretty strong. So we don't uh, think we have to change out the bracket. What we do have to change out is this chain, because there are no options to tighten the chain. So we just have to replace the chain. Yeah. And this, this is the noise we were hearing, the, the clattering. clattering of the chain. So we're gonna source a new chain, put it on there, and hopefully the rattling noise will be gone. Hey, yeah. This is an old one. If you try to twist it, and you can see there's quite a lot of play in there. And there's a little bit of wear on the inside of the chains. Where we can see it the most is the play that we have in here. And if we check our new used one, there's a lot less play in there. And if you look at the inside, there's no wear on the inside of the chain. So this should be a lot better. We're gonna put it in and see what the results are. So, almost done. We put a new chain on. Now we're going to start for the first time to check if it's still rattling. Exciting moment. Yes, indeed it is. Let's see if we fix the noise. We got oil. We got power. power. We got power action. The honor goes to you. Now let's see, this is on Zoo and Zoo. Here we go, guys. Take off the gloves, the oil gloves. I think we can start. Let's see. Hey ya! So now it runs without a rattle. In the next episode we find out that there are some more things broken on this bike. The list just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And we will finally take it for a test run. This was part 4 of our Yamaha build series. If you want to check out all the other episodes, make sure to check out the playlist and sub to our channel. Have a nice day and see you on the next one. Hey ya! Powered by RS, <laughs> by Usufana Kawasaki.